Hello to everyone. We're going to give everyone about 30 seconds to log on, share this on your personal page as well. Hello, hello. I am Pastor Deravius Colors here for the five before. And I'm going to talk about today the pressing place. In the book of Mark, chapter number 14, verse number 32, we find the story about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane before he was crucified and was buried on the cross. Buried, died on the cross and buried. And while Jesus was in the was in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, with James, Peter, and John, he told them to stay there because his soul was exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. He told Peter, James, and John to stay there and watch and pray. The Garden of Gethsemane is very important because the Garden of Gethsemane is believed to be a place of where olives grew, the olive grove. There in the Garden of Gethsemane, olives grew everywhere. The Hebrew meaning of Gethsemane is oil press. So what, what happened in the Garden of Gethsemane, when an olive has reached its growth of development, it was disconnected from the vine, put on the press, a press was a granite circular table, if you will, and it rotated slowly. They would put the olive on that granite base table, and they would take two stones in the two stones in the shape of a cone, and they would press the olives until the oil came out of the olive. The oil represents the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When you are about to go to a next level of your life, before you enter the next season of your life, God will take you through the pressing place. You will be pressed. You will be crushed. Because God is trying to get whatever in you out of you. And I believe on this five before five, some of you are being anointed. And God is anointing you for a magnificent task. It doesn't have to be to preach or teach. It can be to be a wonderful wife, to be a great father to your kids, to, to be a great leader in your workplace. And what happened is you are going through the press. It seemed like trouble is all around you. It seemed like things are just falling apart in your life. It's only because God is taking you through the press and giving that anointing, the Holy Spirit that's in you, out of you so it can flow. I like this in this text when you read Mark chapter number 14, beginning at verse number 32, you will see that Jesus went in and he asked God, he said, he prayed to God. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. See, Jesus right there, he was in that pressing place and he did not want to be pressed. He did not want to go on the cross. He did not want to die on the cross. But at that moment, in the pressing place, he changed his will and he said, nevertheless, not my will, but Father, let your will be done. In the pressing place, your will will change. Your self agenda will change and it will uh, merge with the will of God. Last thing that I want to say about this wonderful passage of scripture, if you notice, Jesus went in like a cat, but he came out like a lion. He went into the garden of Gethsemane weak, but he came out strong. When you go through the pressing place and when God presses you, you may go in your trouble, your trial, your tribulation weak, but after it's all over, you will come out strong. I want to prepare you for your pressing place. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you, Father, because we know you are anointing us for a certain task in our life. God, whatever present place we find ourselves in, give us the strength and the tenacity to make it through our present place. 
We trust you, Father, every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.